Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And today we're going to make spinach wrap from this book, Light and Easy River Cottage. We have we have chickpea flour, and it's also called gram flour. Eight eggs, three hundred grams of spinach. I'm going to start off by wilting the spinach. So if you're happy. Um, it might look like there's loads of spinach, but when you when it's cooked, it goes. Bye. It wilts basically. I'm gonna put a little bit of water, and then I'm gonna put the lid on because it will probably spit a bit. Yeah. You'll be able to hear it when it's starting to. I am going to crack the eggs now. Eggs are a brilliant source of protein and good fats. And they're so easy to make and they're brilliant for kids, I think, because kids can actually make a full meal out of them. My children bring me eggs quite often in bed, which is quite nice. Darshan, please can you get the food bin? Yep, very quickly. So this is how we crack it. We've learnt to crack an egg and we learned it from the kids' cookery school. You do a big crack there and then you've got a hole there. You put your thumb in between and you open it up. That's how you crack an egg. And I've just dropped some shell in there. Jenny told me that you can pick eggshell up with other pieces of eggshell. So the spinach is shrunken down a bit, so now I'm just going to stir it up and now we won't need the lid because it's all shrunken down and we're just going to wilt it down. So we need to whisk the eggs now until they get, like, you know when you're making an omelette or a pancake, um, you want it so that it's all yellow, you know what I mean? So I'm going to add it into this bowl to cool down. If you put it in the egg mixture with the spinach hot, then it'll scramble the egg so, and you don't want it to cook already. I'm just adding a little bit of salt, a bit of salt, so I tasted it and I thought it was a little bit bland. And now I'm going to add a little bit of chickpea flour. That's 200 grams. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit at a time. See, it looks a bit like scrambled eggs, but it's not. You need to keep mixing until all of those lumps vanish. is going in and the last big mix. I am going to put the spinach in the bowl. You, you want to quickly whisk it so that it doesn't... I'm going to... Do, I'm just... This is now mixed. That's the consistency you want. Go. So I've just put a bit of oil on the pan. You just want to move that all around. Silence. So what we're going to do basically is we're going to spread Zug around the wrap and then we're going to, you can use Zug, you don't have to, you can use anything really. We've decided to keep it simple and just use three, but you can use as many as you want. If you're adventurous, you could try something sweet, but I don't think it'd go very well with a spinach wrap. Why don't you start assembling your spinach wrap? Sure, I'd love to. I'm going to start with the Herby Fiery Zoom. So again, it's just loads of spices. I can't go through the whole list. Coriander, parsley, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, garlic, chilli, cumin, cardamom, cloves. Yummy. So, I've just spreaded some zug. It doesn't have to be loads. Then I'm going to just put some black olives. I really recommend black olives because they're very sweet and they're very nice. Black olives, they're a really good, olives are actually a really good snack. They're full of really good fats. Um, so obviously olive oil is made out of olives. It's not surprising that it's full of good fats. They have that very Mediterranean flavour too, so nice to have in food. But um, yeah, they're really great for good fats. 
I'm gonna put a couple of those in there. And then I'm going to put some mozzarella slices. And then you can wrap it up. Bam. So I'm going to do a good amount of zoo. It has a little bit of a kick to it, but it's really nice. Now I'm going to eat this like a pizza. It's meant to be a wrap. I don't care. There's no rule. Well, you may as well call it the spinach pizza. <laughs> Let's do tasting time. Yeah. I've done mine a bit thick, so I'm just cutting pieces off it. Like I've this. done mine like a pizza. For your information, I've never tried this before. You haven't um, made it before. It's delicious. delicious. I don't think it'll turn out this well. Mmm. 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 I definitely recommend these three things because they go really well together. If you wanted to make the wrap colourful, you could also add a bit of red pesto in there or even green pesto. Well, I saw on the book, <laughs> Hugh recommended black olives. He had a bit of um, pickled cauliflower and a bit of baby gem lettuce. Mm. Mm -mm. All day, every day, I would eat this. Bow, bow, bow.